Hello and welcome everybody, this is Saran and today we'll be doing a new world, new player review. New world just recently hit one year anniversary and it's been gaining much popularity for its improvements and upcoming update. I have seen so many videos of veteran players talking how it has changed over time, so I decided to do try out myself and give you a perspective of what it is like for new player coming to this game. I've been playing this game for 100 hours and more now and I tried to experience as much as possible to give you my fresh view of New World. I enjoy PvE the most in games, so let's start with crafting. New World has in-depth gathering, refining and crafting system that at first might seem overwhelming, but I enjoy trying to learn all the different professions I could do and items I could craft. There is still so much to improve and level that I could spend months and months trying to become the best at everything. And to any crafter this is heaven. Fishing is one of the gathering professions that by itself is an amazing system. It's done better than any other fishing system I've seen in online games. You have to hook the fish in time and pull it out without breaking the line. There is high variety of fish to catch for many different crafting recipes and uses. You can use different bait, fishing rods with a variety of perks, find secret fishing hotspots and catch different types of fish and cre creatures like snails and squids. Music Profession is probably the coolest mini game that is basically a guitar hero. You can play 5 different instruments that are craftable and improvable. There is many songs you can discover just by playing the game to unlock them. You can play on different difficulty and gain special perks by playing it. Other people can tip you to receive same perk so you can play it like an actual bard in this game. You can even play some songs together with other people with different instruments. Overall, I love this system so much. The map at first might seem not as big as it actually is. It has 14 major zones that vary in terrain and biomes. Different locations can provide you with different materials to gather. Every zone has a recommended level and gets harder as you go up in map. The game has much potential with map expansions, like what we will see with Brimstone Sands. They are adding a new zone that is almost 3 times bigger than other zones. I see so much potential that this game has and when it's gonna keep developed, it's gonna become something incredible. One thing I found interesting how we made mountain climbing possible. As for now, there is no mounts and running around might take you a bit. Some mountains are made with specifically with smaller sections that has corners that you can jump, hold and climb on. I found this design really satisfying. The weapon variety is amazing. You can use two different weapons at the same time to mix them in combat. The skills you get individually from weapon skill trees by leveling them. They already added Blunder Buster and Void Gauntlet in a game just over a one year. And you'll be getting a new Greatsword as well really soon. They also are working on more weapons like daggers that might come out in the future. This gives me hope for even more longevity and possibility for this game, as each weapon combination creates different playstyle. The only thing I'm disappointed about weapons is lack of magic ones. I might try playing as a mage or a healer in future, but for now it seems there's not that many options. Combat is something that makes this game so addictive. I don't know if it just feels so smooth or satisfying, I just keep hunting and killing anything that comes in my path when I'm questing or gathering. It's basically a combination between the weapon's skills, lights and heavy attacks, blocking and dodging. Fighting mobs is fun, but while facing other people it can get intense. Questing is something that left me wanting more. As most quests overall are quite similar if you don't read into story too much, but I enjoy main story and lore. It kept me fascinated about this world, lore and what next can come, as we left so much mystery about things in Eternum. Expeditions are basically dungeons in this game. New World has group finders that you can access from anywhere in the world and they are planning of reworking and improving the system even more. I tried first expedition uh, when I reached level 25 and it seems quite fun. Same as combat being more interesting, the expedition feels different to dungeon runs I would play on other MMOs. There is story and lore behind each dungeon with small puzzles and stages through the expedition you have to go through by killing many mobs and mini bosses. In then you face a cool boss that does not feel too repetitive or have too long a fight as I would expect in most of the games. For rewards you get a lot of armor or weapons, different rarities so it feels satisfying looking for them. 
At the moment it seems New World doesn't have many expeditions, however, developers are adding and working on new ones, and there is a mutation system that lets you experience the same dungeon with 10 more difficulty levels, but varies enemy elements and resistances. PvP in open world is optional, and I like how it's set up. For anyone who wants to calm PvE experience, it's really convenient as you don't need to worry about PvP zones unless you choose it. You can toggle PvP in any safe zone, like towns, and when anywhere outside on the world you can fight or be attacked by any other player from other factions that have this setting turned on as well. I mostly played without this setting, but I tried it a few times and had a bit of fun. Got killed by some high level players, but also got my ass handed to me by lower level ones. For now, I prefer not to play with it because I'm not really efficient with my setup or weapons to actually compete with our players. There are three factions in New World, Marauders, Syndicate and Covenant. You can join one of them and only be able to swap to other faction after several months. There are certain factions PvE and PvP missions you can do to level up your rank. You can only buy equipment, consumables and certain rare items with faction points. Players in these factions can fight over territory in town invasions who will control every zone. I haven't experienced it too much yet, but I had a chance to try it out and it was really fun. There are corruption portals opening up around the world that you can fight and close up, something like small invasion event. Some of them require multiple players and their levels vary uh, based on the zone they are in. By doing these fights you earn zone points and it could be even faction missions but I'm not too sure yet about their full purpose as I heard high level players do these runs in endgame. There is also 3 vs 3 arena fights you could play for PvP rewards. This is an instance that teams you up and against similar level players to win fights 3 times for your team. Each round 3 players fight over 3 players with only 1 death allowed per player. If you die, you are eliminated from the round. The team wins when they are defeated all 3 enemy players. I found this mode really competitive and quite difficult for someone who mostly plays PvE. However, I like the challenge and this seems something that will keep me trying to improve my gear and skills to beat other players. Inventory management in this game is honestly amazing. In every MMO game I played, inventory and bank system was a big issue for me. However, in this game it seems to be designed so well that I still haven't faced lack of space problems and don't see my will for a while. The system works based on a weight and not by amount of items. At first I thought I might be able to reach maybe 500 space, as when I started I had 200 and one of 3 extra bags that gave me 100 space. However, I figured out that these bags could be improved and crafted in different levels, have higher ranks or rarity, and even perks and effects increasing size or lowering the weight of certain items. So now, I already have over a thousand inventory space, and I think I might be able to get to 1500. The banking system in this game works as a with a tool sheds in each town that can hold over 1000 space and it's also improvable by a few hundred. Keep in mind, there, there is a town in each zone and will have even more when the new updates come out. Many mass gathered materials that would take up much space is used to keep upgrading the higher tier materials, so everything is being used and scaled up letting you stack the valuable materials. In conclusion, I really fell in love with this game, it made me feel like discovering new MMO games when I was a child but with more in-depth and cool systems. It has its own issues, bugs, things to improve, but the biggest plus that counters that at all, the developer seems to actually interact, listen and respond to player feedback. It always can change and some bad controversies could ruin the experience, however for now, how the game is improving and going, it seems it might have a bright long future with content getting better and expanded for longevity of this game. Thank you all for watching. If you made this far and enjoyed this video, you can subscribe and follow my content as I will be doing more videos about this amazing game while progressing and learning more myself. I'll see you next time in Eternum.